Okay, in this video, I want to show you some of our new, uh, some things are just like user interface um, improvements and some new features that I think are really neat. Uh, we will be sending out an email with more details on this. Um, and also, if you have any questions, contact us through our chat support or give us a call. Um, but we'll have the email out by Monday to you um, with a lot more details. But uh, let me start here with on our production order system. If you don't use our production order system, just ignore this. Um, but is what we did, we simply added a create traffic order button on each and every production order. Um, we always had this button, but it was right here next to complete. And it, and it looked just like the complete quote unquote button. It's not really a button. Yeah, we found that it just made more sense to have this here because it, it that's all it did was create a new traffic order. And we think it's a bit more clear. So at any point in the production or uh, process, so these are in production, I can create a traffic order. Um, or if it's been assigned, uh, I can still create a traffic order. So at any point in time, no matter where the production order is in the creative process, I can create a traffic order. So if it's not done yet, the ad, ad's not complete, I can uh, go ahead and do a traffic order if I need to. So if I click on traffic order, I obviously give it the information. If I'm the person that puts in the cart number at this point, I can do it now. It doesn't have to be entered right now. It can be done later or even before. Put in the start date, end date, stations if you need to. Okay, that's all that really does. Next, we have calendar invites. This is one of the coolest features I've seen in a long time. Um, we've been asking for it for a long time. Lots of customers have been asking for it. They finally got around to it. But uh, so is what you do um, when you're on your calendar and you have an appointment and you want to invite someone. So for instance, I clicked on this wave jet one and it opened uh, the appointment up. Let's say I want to invite somebody. So let's just say I want to invite Alyssa. Click on that and it'll tell me if she's available or not. You can see Alyssa is not available. Click on view schedule and then I can see her schedule and I can scroll through the day. So let's go to Monday. I can see her schedule on Monday. I can keep going. So I can see when she's free. It doesn't tell me what her appointments are, but it does tell me when she's busy. Next thing we have sort by seasonal clients. So if you're on your customer list and you've made a, a bunch of clients seasonal and how you do that, you simply click on action and we call it protected slash seasonal. It's kind of, it's the same exact thing. But you click on that and then you make that client seasonal. Um, and when you do that, they'll put a little shield here next to the customer. If you hover over, it'll tell you it's protected. Again, it, seasonal protected, it, it means the same thing. And how I filter by that, I click on the filter up here. You can see we have this filter right here. And you got any, yes or no, I have it on yes. So yes, I wanna see all my seasonal clients. And of course you can filter by on air or not and, and all these other features here. Um, next we have uh, some more natural log integration. So, um, it, we, we got to get it set up for you. So if you want to do this, you need to let us know. And then you also let uh, Marketron know they charge you like 10 bucks a month. It's per, uh, it's a nominal fee. Um, but once you get that set up, uh, whoever approves the contracts to go into uh, the traffic system, whether it's a manager or, or a traffic person, uh, once they approve a contract, it automatically imports into natural log, saving user error and lots of time. It saves our traffic person at our seven stations about 30 to 40 minutes a day, which actually at the end of the year equals about two weeks worth of time. Um, so all you gotta do if you're gonna approve a contract, you come over to pending contracts, click on that, and then it'll bring you to this tab approval. Once they're approved, they go to traffic. And it's all that is, that's just a place for you to, to check it. Um, if you have natural logs set up, um, it's just kind of a way the system automatically imports that, um, that contract. But if you want to get human eyes on it, uh, to, just to verify, you go to traffic and you can view it there. Um, but when you open the contract, you click on approve or reject after clicking on the action button. And then once it opens, you take a look at it. If you need to edit it, you can at this point. Um, you just simply click approve and it imports into natural log. Again, let us know if you want to do this so we can uh, get things turned on on our side. You also need called natural log and let them know that you're working with us and they will turn it on for you. Like I said, it's a $10 fee. So um, really neat feature to save you human error, lots of time and uh, money. Um, okay, so we've got that. Let's go over to eSign now. Uh, this is really handy, especially with um, 
uh, COVID going on. This this feature has been in here for a while, but I just want to make sure everybody's aware of it. Again, because of COVID, some people just don't want to meet with you. Um, so after you've made your contract in SmartRate, you go to your new, new contract and you've created it, uh, just click Save on it. And then you'll be able to come over to the Action button and click on E-Sign Contract. When you click on that, it'll automatically grab the customer's email as long as you have uh, the customer's email on their profile on the customer list. So it puts their email in there, put in a subject, hey, here's your contract, sign it. And if you want, you can put in a body. When you click email, it lets the sales or it lets the customer know they've got a contract that needs to be signed. They sign it. And when they submit it back to you, it goes to the manager of the office or the person that approves contracts. We can set it up to do whatever you want. But it also emails the um, sales rep and lets them know that the contract signed. So a really cool feature, especially for um, COVID nowadays. Um, we've added some new documentation. Uh, a lot of people miss this up here, big red button that says training. Uh, we didn't have this before the documentation. We did have training videos and those are still there. But if you click on documentation, it's gonna bring you to this page that's searchable. It's broken up into category, um, FAQ on here, all kinds of stuff. And we have just about everything in here. We're adding to it. Uh, continuously and trying to improve it um, but nevertheless everything is pretty much in there um, if you find anything that's missing let us know and we'll make sure we add a section of that next is the dashboard now again this has been here for a while it's still in beta so we're looking for input um, from people so if you guys think of a, a cool idea for our dashboard uh, the idea behind the dashboard is uh, kind of a one-stop shop for you to log in, whether you're a sales rep or a manager, and be able to look at your numbers and kind of see how thing is, things are going within you know just a few minutes of looking at this. Um, if you need more detail on something, for instance, for instance uh, budget versus billing, you can click on details and it breaks it down in a lot, a lot of different ways. So pretty nice feature there. Again, if you have some ideas for that, we're still building that, let us know. Um, Next is our concerning types. When you're in Salesforce activity, when you go over to reports and you go to Salesforce activity, and let's just go to the first tab here, it's gonna bring you up a, a list of all your sales reps and whatnot. Um, if you decide you wanna click on one of them and get more detail, you can click on their name here, and it will bring you, it, it's all it did, it opened up this tab here you can see we we're on sales. We went over to calendar detail and it automatically selected selected a list of pain because that's who we um, we chose. Uh, I can change that if I want to. So if I want to look at Leah or someone else, I can do that. And then it sorts it by the uh, what we call the activity type. You can see type here. So those are things like CNAs, closing annuals, telemarketing calls. And uh, you can sort this list by this type before you can sort by the type. And these are customizable, by the way, and these are uh, connected to the calendar. So when uh, your sales reps select some sort of activity uh, or when, when they do a new appointment, they have to select one of these. And we can customize these for you and you can customize them as well. But if you need some help with that, let us know. Um, so it just allows you to, uh, to sort this list by the activity type, if you like. Next thing up is our teleprospecting system. Again, it's been in the system for a while, but this has been a lifesaver during COVID. Uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, tele, uh, we call it teleprospecting, telemarketing, whatever you want to call it. And um, it allows you to uh, do telemarketing from the system. And it's a really easy system to use. When you go to teleprospecting over here, click on this and this is all you see. And basically it just brings up a random customer from your open uh, prospects. So all the prospects in the system are the only thing that's gonna show up in here. Uh, it's never gonna show customers that are already on someone's list. So when it brings up a customer or a potential customer or prospect, you got your phone number there, give them a call, get a hold of them, click on schedule an appointment, you put in the appointment details, it puts that appointment on that sales rep's calendar, and it automatically claims that customer for that sales rep. If you don't get a hold of them, click on no progress. Um, the, the new customer, this there's more details about that in the documentation. Don't even worry about that, it's really rarely used. Um, and then send a trash, that's for if they're out of business. So really only three options. You, you got schedule an appointment, you got a hold of them, you didn't get a hold of them, they're out of business. 
So just really easy system, and it can all be measured too. Um, the sales rep will be able to see how many calls they've did, uh, booked, um, and their average uh, booked. And then for, um, actually this works for sales reps too, the reporting on this thing, you get some reports down here, but as a manager, you can come over here and get a lot of uh, reports, see how many calls they did, appointments were booked, all that good stuff, a lot of uh, good numbers there. Uh, I'm going through this pretty fast. Um, Again, we're going to send out an email with more details, but we wanted to make sure we just got this to you, make sure everybody was aware of this. If you have any questions, uh, get a hold of us through our chat in the bottom left down here. Uh, you can call us when you open up the chat system, our phone numbers right at the top there. Whatever is easier, but again, we'll be sending out an email with more details, and uh, we can go from there. Thanks.